Okay, so this is being recorded like 10 hours before the uh, the last episode goes public. So I hope you didn't hate that I that I made uh, Forteb the Elder. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your Bo, Bo the Doggo, and welcome back to Winds of Change, where we are just about to get into Mazeo. Finally! It's been like six ep or this is like the sixth episode, and we are finally getting to Mazeo. Uh, so, probably we're gonna meet Damek, uh, talk to him, and uh, yeah, meet up with the Rebellion, and hopefully figure out a plan, or hear the plan from Damek, what we are about to do here. So, um, yeah. I don't think I don't want to wait for it, and you don't want to listen to me ramble anymore. So let's go and let's do this. It's still it's still hot. So this fucking chair, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change chair. Be right back, guys. Okay, there are no books here. There's no one to talk to. We'll listen to the triumvirate what they had to say. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's go to Vazeo. Travel to Vazeo. Yes, please. Ooh, the map of Vazeo. So I guess we're starting at the mountain pass then. So we're not at Vazeo yet then. We're still we're still go uh, going there, <laughs> I suppose. As we take our first steps away from Valley North, I make note of my surroundings. Not much has changed, yet in my heart I can feel an indescribable difference. Crimson leaves litter the ground, remnants of the earlier spectacle. Be oh, right, before before we continue, I just had something I wanted to uh, give my thoughts on. And that is what the Triumvirate want. It seems that they are trying to get me to like, Oh no, oh the corruption, you don't want the corruption, do you? No. Like, they're telling me not to make everything corrupted and... Because maybe it is like they want you to think that the corruption is bad, but what we actually want is the corruption. We will want the world to get corrupted because then maybe we, the triumvirate will like lose their power that they feed on this spiritual energy or something. And if it gets corrupted, they will lose the power, maybe. So that the game is fooling you, like, oh, this is a good ending, but, or like, this is a good path, but it's actually the bad path. What do you think? Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it, and it's actually just very simple, and there are, it's just a game, it's more the creator that's saying, like, oh, no, you don't want the corruption, because the corruption is bad, ah. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but that's how I hope that it is, that the game is fooling us to make us think that corruption is bad, while that is actually the good thing. I guess it's just about perspectives. <laughs> wow, they look pretty cool, huh? It was definitely a nice send-off. I just hope the Mazaeans aren't afraid. Why would they be afraid? It seems like a silly thing to be worried about. Well, the rest of Alestia sees them as an ill omen. But they're just leaves. <laughs> well, you know how superstitious people can be. I was taught that they're tears from the spirit realm. You know, the spirits crying out. But I don't know why. Perhaps our parents were reaching out to us. Case in point, Pro. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, there was something I had to say. Don't you think it's a little odd to walk around like that? He looks at me, giving me the up and down. I don't know what he's talking about, so I'm confused. Okay, what can I say? Hey, you're no looker yourself, bro. You could do my water then, if you like. You mean without holding your hand? You're right. Mind your own business. What are you talking about? Uh, I, I don't I don't really know what they are talking about. I am also confused, so I'm just gonna do the flirty thing here. I think that was the two hearts were the flirty thingy. Uh, on the other hand, I, I don't know what he's talking about, so maybe I'm gonna ask that instead. That huge blade you have on your back? You know, the one the Triumvirate will want to steal? I think we should cover it up. It's too open right now. Oh, true. That's actually a good idea. We don't know how many eyes will be on us. It might help us get past the gate guard as well. Yeah, they wouldn't take kindly to seeing that. They're skeptical enough of travelers from Valinorth. What? But we wouldn't do anything. That's exactly the point. People from Valinorth would never harm Mazeo, true. 
But that's what makes it the perfect excuse for wrongdoers. Say you're from Valinorth and get through without a second thought. That's awful! Yeah. Unfortunately, they're keen on that trick. They'll end up questioning us no matter what we say. So, we need to cover up the blade. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing I brought this, then. She holds up the cloth that was wrapping the blade in the Grand Tree. It's large enough that I can wrap it around myself like a cloak. I'm positive that they will ask what's underneath, but it's worth a try. What do we do if they don't buy it? Well, I'll play some of my patented charm. <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> Poor Tim and Vanessa shares a quick laugh while Pro fumes. Ulrich crosses his arms and starts to come up with a plan. There's still a long way to go, so let's walk and talk. We're losing time and that's the one thing we can't afford to lose. Immediately after, Valesa hands me the cloth from earlier. I knew that many people in Mazea were part of the rebellion, but not everyone. The gate gods must be an example of those not under Damak's thumb. At least yet. Alright. I wrapped the cloak around my back and fashioned the top into a hood. The Blade of Exodus, as well as my identity, was efficiently masked. With a small hope that this facade would work, we continued towards Maceo. Okay. Okay. I'm cloaked and ready. <laughs> Going in. Oh. Also, I need people to talk to. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, there's so much to do here. Uh, let's start by talking to Ulrich then. Hey. More stuff about Ulrich and Maceo? Come on, give me a break. Uh, okay, what can you tell me about Mazeo? There's not much to say that you don't already know. It's a trading hub, providing goods and services to Valinorth and Alarenthia. But there's a large piracy scene, providing the more illicit goods and services. The occupation was supposed to make things better, but it didn't. It only created more laws to break, and they haven't even cracked down on them. The mayor has slowly defected to our side, after realizing the Triumvirate's true intent. They only wanted the spirit idol hidden underneath Mazeo. We're sure of it. The introduction of law and order to the city of Mazeo was justification enough for them. Uh, what is the current Paris scene like? There are two pirate lords, Alex and Nada. They see eye to eye on most things, but disagree on others. Still, rather than fight each other, they've come to rule together. And Alex was the red red guy, the red fox or whatever we saw speaking to uh, the mayor. Some pirates prefer Alex, while others prefer Nada. It's not too complicated. But there's enough drama around piracy to deal with infighting, so they work together. Which power, pirate lord do you support, Ulrich? I've never had to think about it, so I don't really have an answer. But I'd probably have to go with Alex. Nada is a bit too ruthless for me. If she was in power, people would be under her thumb, rather than free. Huh. What can you tell me about Alexon? Piracy wasn't his first choice, but he really didn't have any say in the matter. None of the legitimate trading companies would hire him due to his troubled past. He basically takes whatever job he can get, living off of Nada's scraps. A lot of the local pirates follow after his ideals, he doesn't have delusions of grandeur. The goods he smuggles aren't too dangerous either. It's pretty close to an honest living. He just wants the trade ban lifted to continue doing what he's doing and be accepted. And uh, the Nada then? Now, she's a different story entirely. Nothing is off limits for her. She wants money and power. As long as the price is right, it doesn't matter what you want to smuggle. She's your girl. Her vision of the future is different than Alex's. One day she sees herself in charge of Mazeo. A lot of the pirates follow her because she promises them riches and power. Alex doesn't do that. He simply promises them a stable living with the hopes that one day it's made legal. But Nada doesn't care what's right or what's wrong. Only about having the most power. I guess she thinks that if you have power, it doesn't matter what you do. While Alex wants to live an honest, legal life, Nada wants to be strong enough to do anything. If you have the whole world in your hand, much like the Triumvirate, no one will stop you. Hmm. So she is a real pirate. I see. So what can you tell me about the mayor? His name is Gris, and he slowly defected to our side. 
He's a good ally to have, especially with the strings he can pull. I doubt our plans would have gotten this far without his assistance. But can he really be trusted? I'd say so, yeah. This isn't a sudden defection or anything like that. It's been slowly happening over the last 20 years. I saw it all. He's truly sorry for what he's done, and now he wants redemption. So Ulrich is more is probably like 30 years old then or something? I guess joining us will help him achieve that redemption. He's just in the unfortunate situation of playing both sides. He does work with the enemy, but his allegiance is with us. I know it. But how long has he been in charge of Mazayo? He took part in the occupation, actually, and slowly realized he was wrong. So that would mean he's been in power for a little over 20 years. He was pretty distant at first, but we slowly got more in touch with him. As time passed, he realized he was being lied to. That's what the Triumvirate does. They tell you that you're getting what you want, but it's just a cover to use you. I guess he got fed up and realized that the Rebellion could actually deliver. Okay, what would the Triumvirate do if they found out? They'd probably kill him. Oh no. They don't really tolerate that. But it's not very often that somebody goes against their rule. They seem to have a sway over their subjects. It's hard to describe. Like, only now that he's away from them is his mind finally clear. As soon as they find out, I'm sure they'll make him a primary target. I'm willing to bet that they'll send Sovi and his apprentice to do the job. Oh yeah, Sovi and his apprentice. Sovi um, told us I had, he had a master, he was an apprentice. And then something happened to his master uh, before he, he himself became the master. I think Sovi killed the old master because the old master figured out what the triumvirate wanted. Like Sovi have, has now. And he he finally like figured out that he didn't agree like uh, the mayor has he found he he came to the he, like he came to the conclusion that what the triumvirates did is is bad he we didn't want to stand behind it and that then they like gave Sovi the the mission to kill him because okay he has betrayed us kill him Sovi and you will become the new master and that's why Sovi don't want to talk about it and. Sovi has probably started to go down that path now as well, where he started to be like, Oh, I don't know anymore. Uh, is this really the right thing we are doing? And that could mean that he knows that if he continues on that path, uh, his apprentice, whatever his name was, will kill him. And this, like, this is the cycle that continues, that the apprentice kills the master. So that the triumvirate always will have control over the, the Grand Inquisitor. That's how I think. But as I said before, maybe I'm just thinking too hard into this. I don't really care about asking him about himself. What do you thought? Tell me about your hobbies, Ulrich. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can ask about him. Depends what you're wanting to know. Just give me a try. What is that to ask then? How old are you? Yeah, I want to know that actually. I think he's around 30. Old enough to be tired of answering that question. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was your family like? I consider Domek and the Rebellion to be my family. If you mean my birth family in Alarinthia, I couldn't tell you. We weren't very close, and I left for the mainland as soon as I could. Would you go back to Alarinthia if you needed to? Depends how much you're paying me. Wow. What, what can you tell you about your relation to Sovi? There isn't much to say. He always pops in to mess up our plans. Every time we battle the Honor Guard, he's right there with them. The Triumvirate barely leaves their castle, so he's almost like a stand-in for them. Ah. Basically, any time we're against enemy forces, he's there. But you learn a lot about the man and the way he fights, so I know a lot about him. I've never seen anybody with such strong conviction. He surely believes he's doing the right thing. Yeah, and I, I think that's where he's starting to doubt now that he knows the truth behind the triumvirate. No, I don't want to know if he's seeing anyone, because he's not, because he's dateable, so no. Uh, yeah, I don't want to ask anything more. That's about it, see ya. <laughs> uh, okay, listen to the, the what these two have to say. So, about that charm. Uh, yeah? When are you going to start turning it on? 
It's been on this whole time. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it, bro. Trust me. Oh, boy. Poor Tim, you asshole. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means you think highly of your own ability. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a little too highly. <laughs> uh, that's not true. Oh, really? Charm me, then. Uh, you mean right now? Yeah, right here, right now. Shouldn't be too hard for someone like yourself. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, it, just let me think. Um, it, it takes a bit to <laughs> get in the groove. Oh, is that so? Sounds like an excuse to me. It's not! All right, then. Just hurry it up, bro. I'd tell you to take your time, but I don't want to die of old age. Hmm. Okay, and uh, then let's listen to what Gris has going on. Gris too, let's go. As Alex left his office, Gris sat in contemplation. It wasn't long before Lilith, his assistant, walked into the room. It was her duty to document and follow up with Gris after every meeting. So, how'd it go? She's cute. As good as it could've, which isn't saying much. What would you have me put on the record? Negotiations to resume with more parties present. I think that about sums it up while I gather my bearings. Very well. And what about off the record? What should I be expecting to come through that door? Initially, I wanted them to sabotage the Triumvirate's ships, but that was very short-sighted of me. We'll need a naval army, so I tackled things from another angle. That shouldn't be too hard, right? The pirates have an enormous army. Combined, yeah, but I can't win them all over. Alex and Nada will both be fighting to cut a deal with me. And I'm afraid no matter who we side with, things will change. For who exactly? For the winds. Because the winds are changing. The winds are changing. Never mind. Everybody. Lilith, can you send for Domek? He'll need to be present at the final negotiations. Of course, sir. I have a feeling he'll be bringing the seer too, Lilith. With everybody under one roof, we can finally make some progress. At the end of the day, Mazeo and the Rebellion will be allied with the pirates. With everyone under one roof, I think that roof will be a prime target for the Triumvirate to drop a big bomb. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. I guess we just have to choose who to side with. That's why I need to see Damek as well. He'll be leading the final battle, so he needs to choose. I trust his decision and his sense of strategy more than you know. Should he really be making choices that affect the future of Mazeo? I think it's in our best interest. Besides, with what's coming, I don't think I'll be here much longer. What? I only hope that we can leave behind a peaceful future for Mazeo. What? Are you dying? Uh, okay. Enough about that, I guess. Uh, I can talk about the city. Wow! Mizeo looks so big, even from this far away! It's easily five times bigger than Valinorth! Try for ten, little one. Mm -hmm. Just stick by my side and you won't get lost. I don't feel like running around town trying to find you. Again, I'm not little! And trust me, I'll never get lost. I have a pretty good sense of direction. Says the guy who got lost on his way home last week. <laughs> Valesa, it was dark! You'd have done the same thing in my situation. Not true. I was home a few hours before you. Just take Ulrich up on his offer, Fortim. He's being nice. Who knows what the pirates would do to you if they found you alone. Okay, and now you're scaring me. That's the elder right there. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get closer to the city there. Where are we going? Then? The main gate. Okay, so we're getting down to the water now. A few hours later, we finally arrive at the gate of Mazeo. There's nobody in sight, save for a lone gate guard. He stands there, kicking his foot back and forth. Slow day. Ah, oh, great! It's Carmen! Who? Basically, the one gate guard I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Leave this one to me. 
We'll be in Maseo before you know it. He smirks and starts striding towards Carmen. But before he can get too far, Ulrich grabs him by the shoulder, holding him in place. Pro protests by squirming and trying to break free. Hey! Let go! We don't have much time to waste! There's another way. Another way. <laughs> Old Ricky glances over at Valessa, Fortem and I. I'm not sure what he meant by another way. Was there something we could do here? Oh, come on! I had a whole routine worked out, Ulrich. Mm -hmm. Mine will work for sure. With them, it's a risk. Uh-oh. I just want to see how they handle this. Diplomacy will be really important to moving forward. Shouldn't we let them get some practice? Oh, are we gonna be like, Hello, uh, fellow uh, Alestian. We are from uh, uh, Valencia. Uh, well, nice to meet you. <laughs> no, we're from... We're from uh, Valley North. We are the Elder and the Seer here on a mission to, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> take over the world, save the world from the triumvirate. Please let us in. I have enough of their cryptic conversation to step forward. Asking him what they meant, I politely request an explanation. If there was something they needed to say, there was no point in hiding it. The new Elder of Valinorth. Yeah. He smiles and keeps his gaze set on all three of us. I'm starting to get an idea of what they were talking about. Poor Tim, come here. He looks a bit startled at the sudden demand, but slowly steps forward. I can sense his apprehension at being put on the spot. I know that feeling. What? what's up? This is your first time coming to Maseo, right? The relationship between both of our nations is important. How we handle this situation could have a big impact. Really? What do you mean? Pro wants to lie his way in. That's what he does best. Not that it's a bad thing, of course, it usually works wonders. But at the end of the day, you are the Elder of Valinorth. If you prefer, you can try talking to Carmen. See if you can reason with him and get our entry granted. Your role as the Elder can't stay hidden forever. Hmm. What would the people think if someone like you was accomplice to deceit? Word has its way of traveling around could find its way back to you. Aside from the rebellion, you have to make an impact on Mazeo's people. The question is, what kind of impact should that be? Hmm... Whoa, this is way more complicated than I thought. Everything will be complicated now, Fortim. Don't do anything lightly from this point forward. Whoa. Ulrich made a very good point, and we had better to give it some thought. Everything we did from now on would affect the relationship between our nations. We will no longer just focus on the rebellion, but Maseo Valinoth relations. It seems that Milo's resignation left a lot more responsibilities on our laps. I shrug and turn <coughs> I shrug and turn over I shrug and turn towards Valesa Fortem. We start to discuss the matter. What should we do? Hmm. Let's ask Pro to work his charm. Elder, it's your time to shine. Yeah, that no, we we gotta do the the elder thing, you know. I stop and think, but I come to a conclusion that I believe is the best. We shouldn't hide our identities, and we should stick to diplomacy. It's better than setting something up that is bound to backfire on us. I turn to Fortem and give him a nod. I guess this would be his first political move as elder. We just had to hope that Carmen was willing to play ball. He takes slow, nervous steps towards him until Carmen takes notice. When he does, Fortim stops in his tracks, his ears perking straight up. Entry permit, please. <laughs> Wait, what? You want to get into Mazeo, right? Yes, sir! He has floppy ears, yay! <laughs> then I need to see an entry permit. I can't just let anybody inside. Oh yeah? Not even the Elder of Valinorth? <gasps> the what? <laughs> Why, is that you? <laughs> yeah! Nice try. That's a pretty common excuse today. In fact, I've turned down three elders already. Uh. But I'm not lying! And I'm sure they weren't either. But I can't let you through without a permit. But please! Our business is urgent! If you just let us in, I'll get someone to confirm! Hmm... Nice try. You just leave me hanging. Everyone else does. Either present some papers or stop wasting my time. 
Seriously, come on! I can tell that Fortim's getting annoyed. I never seen him like this. As if to offer assistance, Ulrich stepped forward, clearing his throat. Perfect timing too. Fortim was just about to lose his temper. I apologize on behalf of the Elder. This is his first time traveling. We're not up to any funny business, I assure you. It's an urgent meeting. The national security of Maseo and Valinorth are both compromised. Is that so? <laughs> do you have a family, Carmen? Yeah, I do. I promise that we are not lying. The Triumvirate is on the move to occupy Valinorth. But in order to do so, they'll have to pass through Maseo. Your family could be in danger. The attack is imminent. All we ask is that you let us through so we can go about our business. Our matters in Maseo concern the safety of almost every Elestium. If you don't let us through, a lot of innocent people will die. And trust me, we will make it known that you held us back. Do you really want to go down in history like that, Carmen? Or would you rather go down in history as a hero? The man that allowed us to carry out our mission. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> you can't. You don't. I'm asking you to take a leap yeah. of faith. Is it really worth gambling with the lives of your family? Karma gulps audibly and shuffles in place. I think I remember you. Yeah, I just left for Valinorth yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. I'm not an outsider. Maseo is my home. Please, let me and my friends protect it. And you promise not to tell anybody? I promise. But you should also abandon your post. No need to pass right through these gates. Your life is worth more than this job. Please, get to safety with your family. Do you really think I'm making this up? I don't know. If I just wanted entry, I wouldn't care about you. But this is more than that. I want to help you too. I'll tell Grizz right away so you don't get in trouble. Alright, I trust you. Karma steps to the side and stops blocking the gate. I wonder if this would happen as well if uh, Pro got to do his uh, his charm that uh, Ulrich would end up walking forward and give this speech either way. Just don't make me regret this. You never will. Ulrich steps back, smiling as he turns to us. It seems that Fortem couldn't accomplish his task on his own, but his help was much appreciated as we couldn't have done it otherwise. Wow, Ulrich! Thanks! I was totally drawing blanks. Maybe I'm not cut out for that stuff. That's preposterous, Fortin. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect you to succeed. It was your first time. You handled yourself well, and you're gaining experience. He walks away, and Pro approaches the group. <sighs> that was pretty amazing. I still think my idea was better, though. I had a whole <laughs> script in my head and everything. Fortin shrugs and turns to face the gate. At least his act as an elder would be an open and honest one. We couldn't say the same thing if we aligned ourselves with Pro. So, shall we? Sure. He motions to the gate, which is now free for us to enter. After everything we've been through, we're finally here. It was time to get started and meet Damek. Ooh, some more things to do, so okay, listen to them bantering. Hey, Pro. What's up? That can't be your real name. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it's a little odd. <laughs> and Valesa isn't? Uh, you have a point. But since you asked, it isn't my real name. The truth is, I don't actually know my real name. How do you manage that? I'd rather not talk about it if it's all the same to you. Pro is just something the orphans called me when I was younger. I showed a knack for picking up skills with ease. So you're a pro? Something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any idea why your parents chose Valesa? I wonder if, like, we started to, um, when we get, like, the heart talk with, um, the heart talk with, with Pro, if he will open up more, more about that stuff and tell us more about that. Probably tell us more about the orphanage and stuff. No idea, actually. I never thought to question it. But yours kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Hey, there's something else in my mind, actually. Oh yeah? What's that? What's up with the name Fortem? Like, 
How is that one even possible? <laughs> I've always wondered that. <laughs> it's bugging me, and I've only known him for a day. It must bother you so much, you, you've known him forever. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but you're good at getting info, right? That's what I've been told. Maybe we can work together to find this out. I want to know just what Fortum really means. Okay, let's do it! Pro and Valesa, on the case! No one wanna find out what Bodogo means? <laughs> okay, Damek, what's going on with you? Peril 6? She's... She's... Wow. Damek advisor approaches him with a sense of emergency. Having received a summons from Lilith, it was finally time. Who was Lilith? Was Lilith, uh, Gris assistant? The future of Maseo and the rebellion would be decided. Damek, may I speak with you? Oh, of course. Uh, is everything okay? I believe you've been waiting for this. He hands Damek a piece of paper in his grip. Soon after, he returns to scribbling in his ledger. Secure a naval army? That's a lot bigger than our initial plans. Is it an unwelcome change? Spice stands waiting, ready to record Damus' response. <laughs> What's his name? Spice? <laughs> I love it. No, not at all. We were just planning to steal the Triumvirate ships. While they were busy with Valinorth, they'd be unmanned. But this... It could grow our forces exponentially. Especially if the pirates lend us their army. Not for free, of course. They'll probably rob Grizz blind in exchange. Mm -hmm. I recommend not offering them any of our resources. We barely have enough food for our own men. And weapons for that matter. We need more of those. Do you think you could spin negotiations in our favor? Of course I can. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm nothing if not a good negotiator. It seems like everything is in our favor. This final clause, however. The one requesting the seer's presence. Pay it no mind, they should be arriving here shortly. In fact, I'll go meet them in the town square right away. Is their Exodus training regiment finalized? Your schedule should be able to accommodate changes. Your plan is still slow exposure to develop a tolerance, yes? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. I could only handle it for a mere moment. But I feel stronger, like I could handle more. Oh, of course, I'm not going to touch it again. Mm -hmm. I'm just assuming the same rules apply to the seer. With controlled exposure, they could wield it longer and longer. Long enough to aid our final assault on Bolteus. Is that so? Okay, that was all. Let's get into uh, the city then. Oh! Wow, there's so many people in there. And it sounds super noisy. Is it always like that? Pretty much. But why are we standing here talking about it? You realize we can walk right in and see it, right? <laughs> oh, right. Guess I was just waiting on the seer. <laughs> I'm just standing there like... Uh... <laughs> okay, is it the time... The ta time... The town square we're going to here? The town square... It is indeed, and then we will meet Damek. Maybe we should do that in the next episode. I know we didn't go that far in this one. Yeah, you know what? Well, let's do that. We we're doing that in the next episode. So we're ending it here. This is gonna be the probably be the shortest episode this far. Which means that the next episode will most likely come out in less than a week from this one. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Do shorter episodes more frequent. Uh, I will, at least I will try to do so. <laughs> So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh no, my sister is calling. Ah, one second. There, okay, there. Okay, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, also check out my Patreon if you want to support me with like a dollar or so. Um, if you do so, we can uh, you can join the monthly Patreon hangout over at the Discord server where I hang out with my patrons once a month and we play games and chat and stuff in the voice channel. The Discord server though is free to join for everyone, so click the link down below if in the in the Dibble do if you wanna join. But yeah, that's all for this time. So remember, guys, that you are loved and appreciated, and that you should be proud of who you are, because I want to see you in the next episode.
So bro pie everyone. Bye! Oh no, I recorded the 30 minutes of call with my sister G. <laughs>